Many children grow up playing with a doll's house, but can you imagine one complete with electricity? One which has working lifts and running water. So this was what was built for King George V and his wife, Queen Mary, as a gift from the nation after the First World War. Now it's going on display to celebrate its 100th anniversary. Our royal correspondent, Daniela Ralph, has been having a look. Forget any ideas of a traditional doll's house you play with. This is the bigger royal version that's now 100 years old. Made for Queen Mary, King Charles's great-grandmother, it reflects a lavish lifestyle. This is the wine cellar. These bottles the size of thumbnails really are filled with wine. In the miniature playroom, there is a miniature train set and toys. In the library, the shelves are filled with books created by the most popular authors of the time. A copy of Country Life magazine has been casually cast aside. When you get to the kitchen, even the products used have been accurately sourced. Every detail was poured over to show a privileged life in the 1920s under the reign of King George V. The Dolls House was designed to promote British brands in the years after the First World War, a way to showcase the very best in craftsmanship before being moved to Windsor Castle. The 100-year anniversary exhibition will allow visitors to see some of that craftsmanship up close. They'll get a sense of scale and will be able to compare the smaller items to the real thing. In the 1920s, the vacuum cleaner was a relatively new invention. Hoover themselves made a mini version for the doll's house, one of several pieces that were more useful than extravagant. This was actually made by Singer and you can see that it's absolutely made correctly as a real full-size sewing machine would be made, so all the wheels turn, the treadle works properly um, and it's, it's properly hinged so the little flaps work up. If I take off the tiny little scissors you can just see. How, wow. how it uh, folds up. And those are scissors that actually work as well. They do. So I've tried them on a piece of paper and they do actually properly cut. Of course, amongst the ordinary, it's a highly valuable. These are scaled down crown jewels. They include real diamonds and a ruby. Then the elaborately decorated grand piano. Look inside it and you see it's been properly strung. It is a doll's house like no other a scaled-down insight into an aristocratic world and the skill and precision of British craftsmanship. Daniela Ralph, BBC News, Windsor Castle. It's exquisite, isn't it? It's just extraordinary. Yeah. Have you figured out the hand ratio? Yes, it's all right now. Yeah, you're it's happy. Right. Good. Good. Otherwise, Carol would have been all in all of tears if Charlie hadn't sorted that out.